Hello, 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 my beautiful Saggies. I missed you guys so much. Okay, y'all. This is the read that I look forward to doing the most, you guys, because it's my soul tribe. All right, y'all. So I, I know the camera is cutting my head off, but I wanted y'all to be able to see the cards a little bit better and what was going on. So we're going to jump right into this, you guys. I could not wait to get into this for you guys. Okay, today, your number is number eight. You guys are being divinely guided, just like all of my other signs. You guys are being divinely guided towards success. So if you guys are being pulled away from a situation or you guys are being pulled, some of you are coming upon a tower moment. This tower moment is meant to divinely guide you into your greatness okay so let's get right in you guys because y'all know i'll be all over the place <clears throat> this nine of swords you guys are coming to an end with these sleepless nights the praying the crying you guys have been through hell and back okay you guys have had a rough path you guys are soldiers you guys are warriors okay spirit said stay strong warrior that is what he said to my saggies okay God is with you every step of the way. Look up, not down. Let God turn that frown upside down. Peace, joy, light, and abundance. So I feel like your spirit guides know you guys have been through a lot. God knows you have been through a lot. And I feel like he is ready to take you guys to this place of eternal joy that you guys have been pushing so hard to get to with this nine of swords in reverse clarified with the seven of pentacles and the empress you guys have planted your seed okay you have planted your foundation you guys have um planted the seed that you want to grow that you guys want to manifest whether it be with a and i feel like it's really with everything with a person a relationship a job, your own business. For others of you, it's going to be different situations, but I'm getting that for a, for a handful of you. You guys have manifested your own business. You guys have manifested your own abundance. Some of you may be pregnant. Some of you guys could be expecting by this king of uh, cups. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign with water in their chart. Okay, this could be a um cancer pisces scorpio a gemini libra aquarius with water in their chart or vice versa you guys take the energies how they resonate do not worry about the signs focus on the energies okay you guys are done crying and praying over this well you guys are still praying for this person but i feel like you guys are your sleepless nights are coming to an end i feel like at last you guys know that your prayers are being answered you guys know that your prayers are being heard with this eight of pentacles you guys have put in some hard work and you're about to reap the benefits but first you guys are going to have a tower moment, okay? But I want you to look closely because it seems as if she is falling, you guys. But look, right before she hits rock bottom, she's being caught by this hand, okay? You guys, right before it seems like you guys may hit rock bottom, you guys are going to be caught by an unexpected king. This king is going to bring you a romantic partner that you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. Getting involved in a culture or creative endeavor. This King of Cups came out in reverse down here as well. So I'm feeling like you guys are getting ready to walk away from a situation that you guys have nurtured for 10 years or more. And that is for some of you. It does not have to be 10 years. I feel like you guys are walking away from a situation that you nurtured for a long period of time. And you guys are tired of waiting for this person to see the light. But guess what, you guys? We're going to get to this. Let me finish this real quick, okay? We're going to get to this King of Cups down here. 
First, I want you guys to know something could be changing around you guys dramatically. And if it hasn't, it will. Something's going to come to light. Something is going to come down around you. This tower is not always meant for bad, you guys. A lot of people get freaked out when they see this tower. But this tower, in your case, Sagittarius, is bringing you something good. And that is what I feel like. With this Ten of Wands, with this Queen of Cups, you guys know you have completed a cycle intuitively. You guys nurtured, you gave this relationship, you gave this situation your all until ultimately you guys felt like you have nothing left to give. But just when you guys felt like giving up, here comes your king, you guys. They're realizing where they went wrong. With you guys being in the Seven of Pentacles energy, you guys nurtured once again. You guys nurtured this relationship. You planted it. You guys worked from the ground up. You built this foundation. This is something that you guys worked very hard on. Okay, with the Hierophant and the High Priestess in reverse, this situation took you out of character. This could have been a relationship or a job, you guys, but whatever it is, I'm getting for a lot of you, this was a relationship. My Saggies, this took you out of your character, okay? You guys, uh, for a while there, you were not sitting on your throne. You guys were dethroned, okay? Now then, moving on to this King of Cups in reverse. This king is withdrawn, okay? This king is not emotional. This king is not opening up the way that you would like. But let me tell you, Saggies, this king is your emperor. Whether you want it to be or not, this is your emperor. And your emperor, you guys, it could be male or female. Take the energies and reverse them. This person is reminiscing on the past. This person misses you. If you guys are at a distance from each other, I feel like some of you may have cut this person off. This may have ended. But this person is thinking of you. This person is reminiscing about the way things used to be. And with this Queen of Pentacles, I feel like some of you are starting to get your finances back. Some of you may have had to cut this person off and you are starting to gradually get your abundance back. Now then, with this Queen of Pentacles, uh, clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles, the Fool, the Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. This person knows, Saggy, that they left you guys out in the cold. This person is fully aware that they hurt you and that they broke your heart. This person is fully aware that if you guys had any type of financial loss, emotional loss, depression, financial strain, this person knows that they're the cause of it. They know they may not want to own up to it yet, but they do know, and this person is wanting to come in and offer you the world. This person is wanting to come in and offer you guys what they took from you because they feel guilty. They feel like they, they took something, and they did. They took your livelihood. They took your... Um, your womanhood, your manhood, you guys, they made you, they devalued you. They made you feel less than who you were, okay? This person is coming back. They're going to take a leap of faith with this full card in the world, okay? They know with this Eight of Cups, you guys, they have traveled a long journey. I feel like they've been through a lot of people. I feel like there's been a lot of lies. There's been a lot of secrets. There's been a lot of illusions, this person is well aware that they left you out in the cold. And I feel like this person is coming back to make things right. Because they see that you are their queen, Saggy. They know that you are their queen, okay? So this Ten of Swords is right up under this Ten of Wands. Right as you guys are getting ready to walk away and heal from this situation, here comes this person. The only thing is, is now my Saggies, you guys have options. This person knows that you have options. That could be why they're coming back around. But I feel like, honestly, this person genuinely loves you. I just feel like they may not know how to love you, Sagittarius. With this Ten of Swords in reverse, you guys are finally starting to heal. Some of you may accept this person back. Some of you may not accept this person back. But what I can tell you is this person is ready to step up and be an emperor. Yeah, with the strength, you guys. 
this person is wanting to come and heal what they broke. Somebody broke something within you and they're ready to heal it. With this Queen of Swords, you guys are um, closed off. You guys are guarded. You guys are not letting this person in. This person could be making daily attempts, whether it be a call, a text, whether it be this person trying to spend money on you. I'm getting strongly for somebody. This person does not know how to deal with their emotions, so they may show their love in a different way, you guys. They may... Um, they may show up and bring you guys food. They may bring you guys clothes. Like, they may go shopping for you guys. I feel like for whatever reason, this person is used to showing their love through their finances. And I feel like that, that may be what have um, broke you guys up to begin with. That this person was so financially dependent and codependent on their money that they were not realizing that they actually needed your love. Now, this person loves you, but they do not know how to love you, if that is making sense. This person is in their emotions, but they do not know how to be emotional. So instead, they cut these emotions off, and now you guys are in your Queen of Swords energy, and your guard is up. Now that this person is trying to come in, this person may be trying to show you guys love that they never showed you before, and now you guys uh, are kind of cold and bitter towards this person. And with this Ten of Swords, some of you may just be ready to end the cycle altogether because regardless, this is a new cycle. Whether you guys decide to move forward with this person or not, I feel like this person really is putting themselves in your shoes. This person is realizing where they went wrong. And this is the end to a cycle. This person is not going to let you go. Okay, this person is not going to let you go, Sag. Not, not without a fight, okay? Clarify the Seven of Cups for my Sagittarius. You guys, excuse me, these cards are easier to do with a wet, with a wet thumb. It's kind of like money, you guys. These cards are fairly new still, so it's easier to grip onto them with a wet finger. Clarify the Seven of Cups for my Saggies. You guys have multiple options. I don't feel like you you guys are looking at this person right now. I feel like you guys are focused on your own financial abundance. I feel like you guys have just had enough. You guys are done. You have had enough and you are not even looking at this person. You are no longer, you still love this person, but you guys are no longer looking at this person the way that you once used to because they have put you through so much hurt, okay? Clarify the Seven of Cups for my Saggies, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. All right, that's too many, you guys. The Page of Swords, oh my goodness. The Page of Swords, the Page of Wands, y'all. This person is definitely watching you. Whoever you're dealing with, this person is keeping an eye on you, okay? They're not ready to let you go, Sagittarius. I feel like they may not be um, fully emotionally balanced right now but they're not ready to let you go either okay clarify the seven of cups for my sagittarius please all right you guys <laughs> i can't make this up y'all the seven of cups is clarified with the seven of cups in reverse so somebody made the wrong choice this could be you this could be the person you are dealing with so sagittarius you guys have options. I think that this is a caution for you guys. I feel like because you may be upset with this person in the past, I feel like you guys may overanalyze this option that you have. And some of you may actually end up choosing the wrong person because of the hurt that this person had put you through. So with the Seven of Cups in reverse, you guys need to be very cautious about the choices or decisions that you make moving forward because somebody is going to end up with a snake if they do not move with complete caution. We know you guys have options, but Sag, I think you guys are seriously overanalyzing these options because the truth be told, 
I don't feel like you guys want any of these options. I feel like you guys want this person from the past for a lot of you. Do not shoot the messenger. And even if you do not want this person, Saggy, you are still in love with this person. You do not want anybody else but this person. And that is strongly what I am picking up on. But there had to be a tower moment because that was the only way that the person that you were dealing with was going to see what you guys went through. This person had to be put in your shoes for them to realize what it was that they put you through, if that is making sense. You guys are being asked to wait before you make this decision. Whatever this decision is, whatever this option is, I feel like you guys are being asked to wait before you make it. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let me get some clarification on the Seven of Cups. If you guys would like to book a personal reading, you guys can do so. Um, my email is in the description box down below, okay? What is the Seven of Cups in reverse regarding my Saggies? What do they need to know in regards to this option, this choice that they have come in? What are they not seeing? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yeah, exactly, you guys. Exactly what I just said. You guys are going to miss out on your emperor, okay? If you guys are not careful, you guys are going to miss out on someone who really does love you. They just, they may not know how. It's taking them some time to get there, okay? I'm getting spirit saying women mature uh, more quickly than men. So you could be a woman waiting for this man to mature, but this man... Use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized. A firm but compassionate leader. So I feel like maybe uh, for my women, I feel like maybe you guys are ready to be submissive. You guys are so used to being the leader that you guys are wanting somebody else to come in and take charge. This is what you guys are wanting. You guys are wanting this emperor. And with this four, you guys are being asked to take a leap of faith and know that you guys are being divinely guided and the universe is bringing this emperor to you. But you guys are going to have to trust it, okay? And then we have the, um, again, you guys... Let's see, the, the King of Cups, and then we have the um, the uh, Page of Cups right here. Falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet. The need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. So, you guys, this emperor may come in before he is ready. You guys are going to have to use your discernment with this Six of Swords in reverse. Positive changes are on their way. A welcome of relief from troubled times, traveling, relocating. I feel like if you guys head towards this um, air sign, and for a lot of you, this is going to be an air sign. I feel like if you guys move towards this person before they're ready, it is going to sabotage this relationship. For a lot of you, this is your divine counterpart, but you are both being asked to put in some sort of work before you two can come together. Because for a lot of you, this is a mission that you guys are being asked to work on. But first, you, you guys are needing to work on yourselves spiritually before you can come together and do this job that you guys were led to do. Because with this emperor right here, you guys are the empress. You're the high priestess. See, we have the empress right here and the emperor. You guys are a pair, okay? You were meant to be together, but I feel like there's such a huge distance between the two of you that you guys are having a hard time finding your way together. So what Spirit is saying is take some time apart and let this person grow physically, mentally, you guys, and emotionally. Because until they're ready, you guys are going to keep getting this King of Cups in reverse. This person is not going to be emotionally available to you until you let them put themselves in your shoes and deal with what you had to deal with, my Saggies, okay? Y'all take this energy and flip it as it resonates, okay? Take what resonates and leave what does not. Male or female, it does not matter. These cards are not gender specific, all right, y'all, we got to go ahead and get ready to wrap this up. 
Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what advice do you have for my Saggies and moving forward in regards to this relationship, this situation? Because this is definitely um, regarding love. Somebody is in their head about the situation, and it's going to turn out in a positive way, but I just don't feel like you guys realize that you guys had to go through this tower moment before you could reach your true love situation, okay? Yeah, you guys are going to have harmony and balance. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do you need my Saggies to know? Loosen your grip. Some of you guys are control freaks. I hate to say that, but some of you guys, and the reason for that, my Saggies, you guys are used to being um, strong. You guys are used to being leaders. You guys are used to taking care of yourself when nobody else was there to take care of you. Okay, but now you guys are being asked to loosen your grip. Destiny, addiction, let God in. Some of you guys, see... You guys are being asked to let God in. Some of you guys may be going through addictions right now. Some of you guys may be trying to fill a void. So you do not have to deal with this situation at hand. But there is something here that is needing to be dealt with, my Saggies. And you are being asked to let God divinely guide you before you run yourself off of a cliff, okay? I'm going to get some more messages for you guys because I feel the need to do that we have um just a few more minutes the devil you guys are in your head about a situation you guys are over analyzing the situation let me get this devil card what is this devil holy spirit holy angels you guys could feel bound to this person but you are not bound to this person you guys are free to walk away whenever you so choose but I feel like for some of you that you are in your own head and I feel like for some of you that you're not seeing something that you need to work on yourself before this person can come in for you. Clarify this devil, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is this devil? My Sagittarius. Could be done with a Capricorn. Okay. Yeah, some of you guys are not seeing the bigger picture, okay? With the... Um, Again, you guys, the tower, it came out in reverse. Some of you guys are resisting change. Some of you guys are being divinely guided to change the situation, but you guys are not seeing. Look, how all these people are falling off the building, you guys, and y'all are not even looking at it, okay? This could be you or your person, but there's people falling off the building all around, and you guys are just zoomed in on the building, and when I say you guys, this could, that could be you or the cross watcher, okay? But this came out in reverse, which means you guys are trying to stop something that is divinely guided or fated to happen. With this, um, this king of wands right here, you guys, you guys are meant to be leaders, okay? Somebody is meant to be a leader, but you are not ready just yet. And I feel like this is the person you're dealing with because this came out in reverse. Again, this is the king of wands. Somebody that is coming towards you guys is not ready, but they are still, they're in your energy and they are confusing you guys. They're throwing you, they're throwing you guys off your path, okay? This could be Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You guys, the energies do not matter. I mean, I'm sorry. The signs do not matter. The energies are what you guys need to focus on. You guys could be looking for mental clarity with this Ace of Swords and the Four of Knives. You guys are needing to go within and you guys are needing to uh, recharge your energy because you have put too much time and emotion into this. You guys need to recharge. You guys are drained. You guys are depressed, okay? You guys are um, trying to come out of this Nine of Swords energy, but then it's like you guys are taking yourself into a whole nother mental illness type energy. Like, it's like you can't win for losing is what I'm feeling for you, Saggies. With this Eight of Swords in reverse, you guys feel like you're not getting the mental clarity that you guys are asking for. But with this card right here, my spirit card, you guys are walking in the light. You're already in the light, but you're focused so much on this darkness. You, you're being consumed by this darkness, but you, you do not realize that your spirit guides are guiding you guys the whole way. Whether this is what you want or not, you guys are being guided so you guys can reach 
the six you guys are gonna have to stop worrying about this past stop reminiscing on the past and focus on what you guys have to gain because what you guys have to gain is going to be a lot more abundant than what you guys were used to in your past Exactly. With this Queen of Wands, you guys are intuitive. You guys are not bound and gagged. That is an illusion. Okay? You guys can move forward if you choose to, but the problem is, is I feel like some of you do not want to move forward. If you guys do not want to choose anybody else, that's fine. You guys can wait for this person, but all I'm saying, in the meantime, you guys need to focus on bettering yourselves. Pour all this love back into yourselves that you poured into this person. Stop overanalyzing these choices. If you guys want to choose somebody else, that is fine, okay? Because there are more than one soulmates that people are sent, you guys. There's divine counterparts. There's twin flames. There's soulmates. There's karmics. You guys, Google it. Look it up and go through the different meanings. Find what works for you guys, okay? But just because it's your soulmate does not mean that you guys are meant to be together. Sometimes soulmates are there to teach you guys a lesson, okay? People, some people are there for reasons and some people are there for seasons, okay, Saggies? But it's not for you guys to be in your head about because you guys are meant, um, you guys are meant to move a little bit faster than what you're moving. Spirit's ready to give you guys this blessing, but there's something that y'all are holding on to. Yeah, exactly. With this Wheel of Fortune right here, you guys are meant to move forward. Time is ticking. Time is ticking and you guys are supposed to be moving forward, but you guys are stuck because you guys feel like you were left out in the cold. With this chariot in reverse, you guys are not moving. Your feet are running, but you are running in place. You guys want to move so bad, but you I feel like some of you know that this person you are divinely guided to be with. So you, maybe you feel like you have to be stuck in this energy, and that's not true. I feel like you guys are being called to be great and work on yourself while this other person works on themselves with this hermit in reverse. Somebody is not wanting to be alone. Somebody is needing to learn how to be okay alone. And when the time is right, okay, somebody is going to come along and they're going to offer you the world. They're going to give you the whole world in a platter. Right now, there's distance between you and this person. But there is distance for a reason because you guys are being asked to take this time to get to know what your purpose is, what your mission is. This is your time to see each other um for who the other is like you put yourself in this person's shoes and this person is putting themselves in your shoes if you can understand what i'm saying you guys and i know this is all over the place but if you are a sagittarius lord knows your life is like a lifetime movie okay you guys could write a book about your life okay i'm just being honest and you should some of you guys need to write a story Okay, because you guys live a lifetime movie and you can't make this up. You can't make it up. Okay, you guys are going to have your two of cups. You guys are going to have your two of cups. You guys are going to be stars, but first you're going to have to face this tower. You guys are going to have to stop focusing on these secrets. What's done in the dark will always come to light. Right now, what you guys are being asked to do is stop resisting this change. Stop resisting this tower that is coming your way. So God can bring you guys your true abundance with this two of cups and this star. As soon as you guys stop resisting this tower and this change that's coming, you guys are going to walk right into your purpose. Here it is right here with the two of cups, you guys. I'm going to clarify this as if I can make this up and then we're going to end this read. Clarify this, car, uh, this star card for my Saggies, please. This person is watching you. They're not giving up on you, Saggy. Even if you give up on them, this person's not giving up on you. They're watching you. They're not letting you go. Clarify this Two of Cups. This person may have been sneaky. This person may have been deceitful. Clarify the Seven of Swords. But they're ready to make up, you guys. You guys are still rejecting their cup. 
But if you guys can see, I feel like this is an offer from the universe, but you guys are rejecting it. You guys want to see what else is out there with these three cups. You guys are looking to your higher spirit gods for help, but your spirit gods right here, um, you guys are having to financially protect yourselves because you guys are guarded, okay? But look at your spirit god right here. I feel like they're guarded too. I feel like some of you may be praying blindlessly. That's what that gives me, you guys. You feel as if um, you know you got to pray. You know that there's something different that you have to do, but you're still being resistant. Some of you guys are being resistant to true love. Somebody wants to come in and offer you guys true love, but you're so focused on the past. You're, you're so focused on everything that went wrong. You guys are resisting a peace of mind. This is a peace of mind trying to come in for some of you. That's what I'm getting, you guys. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what am I missing here with this Four of Cups and this Nine of Pentacles for my Saggies? Exactly. Y'all, I'm going to end this read right here with this high priestess. Look, that's who y'all were meant to be right here with this high priestess. You guys are meant to flourish. You guys are meant to prosper. You guys hold the key in your hands. You guys hold the answers. Look at how she's holding the book of life, you guys. Trusting your intuition. Careful reflection before taking action. Insights that come through meditation. You guys are going to get your answers. Y'all ask and pray for discernment. If you guys want to book a personal reading, you can do so in the description link down below. If you guys would like to donate or support to this channel, you guys, y'all can also do that in the description link below. That helps me to be able to purchase more cards for your reading so we can go more in depth with your readings, you guys. Okay? I love you, my Saggies, with all of my heart and my soul. You guys pray carefully and take um, take your time, you guys. Do not rush with this decision because I feel like somebody's going to miss their soulmate if they do. Somebody is going to miss their divine counterpart. Somebody that God has written in the stars for you to be with, Sagittarius, if you do not take your time, okay? I love you, Saggies. I'm wishing you all peace, love, light, abundance, and prosperity. Y'all remember to be someone's blessing and not their problem. I love you guys.